Today, you're gonna learn how to flash. <laughs> what? How to flash your own ESCs. All right. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail why flashing your own ESCs is a good idea, but if you're still on the fence about it, I got some information down in the description for you that should help you out. Now, there are two ways you can get your hands on flashed ESCs. You either can buy them pre-flash or you can flash them yourself. Okay, we're gonna focus on the second of the two options as the first is kind of self-explanatory and I really don't think anyone wants to watch a video on how to buy flash ESCs. The parts and tools you'll need to flash your own ESCs are the ESC you're going to flash, a flashing tool, flashing software, a razor, <clears throat> a razor, shrink tube, and a heat gun. Now if you're really feeling up to it, you can make your own tool. I tried making my own and it didn't turn out so well, so I ended up getting this one from Hobby King. As you'll see in a minute, it makes flashing ESCs really easy. Now that's enough lollygagging around, let's get to work! The ESC we're going to be flashing today are these guys right here, the blue series from Hobby King. Right there. And as you can tell, this has a clear shrink tube on it. Okay. All right, now getting down to the actual process of flashing the ESCs is you're going to take this shrink wrap off. So take your trusty eraser and uh, you just kind of want to gently get this thing off. Try not to cut anything, including yourself, as you get this mother off. Man. All right, we now have the nude ESC, okay? And on the top there, you have a little heat shrink, uh, a little heat sink there, and then on the back here, you have the CPU, okay? Now, there's something to be noted on the CPU. This is where you're gonna be actually putting the tool on to flash, okay? Right in that big little square right there, okay? Now, if you look closely on that square, I'm not sh sure if you're gonna be able to pick it up or not, but it, um. Yeah, so I don't think. Actually, you kind of can barely see it. But if you're looking at it, um, in this top left corner, there's a little dot. You can see it every once in a while. It's a little circle. And what that identifies is the top left, okay? Now, when you take your flash tool from Hobby King, it has a little red line that runs down right here, if you can see that there, okay? And then it also corresponds to a corner with a little red dot, okay? That red dot identifies with the dot on the CPU and you place that on there just like that. Set it on there, hit run, and it's done. Literally, that's it. Now that your ESC is completely naked and you know how to properly orient your flashing tool, we're gonna transition from the hardware portion of the program to the software. This is the software program that I use to flash my ESCs. It's called KK Multicopter Flash Tool. It's free, it's really easy to use, and um, it's free. So, now this program you can flash many other things than just ESCs. Um, there are a lot of things on here, okay? Um, so you want to make sure that you click the right uh, settings for all these. Um, now, I'm not going to lie, I don't know what a lot of these things are. All I know is I've done enough research to know which ones uh, are supposed to work to get Simon Case from where I'm most ESCs. Now, you might have to do a little research on your own to see if your ESCs are compatible or not, but I know this setup right, uh, that I have right here will work with uh, the Blue Series and the FAs. I've personally flashed both those with these settings. Okay, so you have everything here set up, ready to rock and roll. Go down to your ESC, and um, you got your tool right here. Now I uh, put this on a piece of paper when I do it, because I don't. It, it might not. It, it might be fine. I don't know, but I just don't like holding it while I'm doing it. I don't want to short anything, or something that might happen where it'll cross my eyes permanently. And um, I don't. I just don't feel comfortable doing it. So I put it on a piece of paper. Okay, um, put the dot on the dot, the bam, 
Go back to your software. See this little guy looks like a running man? That means run. Hit run. And it's going through it. Look at that. Bam! Take it off. Good to go. Oh yeah, that is flashed. That is nice. Definitely. There you have it. What do you think? I did it myself. With a little bit of know-how and the right tools, you can turn your super slow lazy ESCs into super fast multi-rotor loving ESCs. Links to everything I mentioned are below, and if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to get back to you.